to sell. If not, I'll give you coin recompense. Has anyone seen Marin? Uh, not recently. Um, not recently. Dang it. Last I saw her, I think she was at the tavern. I don't think either of them saw the emote. <laughs> Near him. Okay. I unfortunately, I don't think I've really talked to you that much. I don't but. think we've ever actually met. That's why I was confused. I think you asked something in the Merc Guild one time, and then that's it. <laughs> I don't even remember Probably. if I got your name. Anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll give it to you. Just come by the shop sometime later today. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll be free in a couple of minutes. Closer towards the evening. Yeah, probably. All right then. I'll come by there as soon as I'm done. I need to measure your arm. It's probably like 20 feet. Why? <laughs> Should I have my armor off? Ow. Eh, not quite. I just need generals. It could be tightened to you, but it's mainly just... What? Fixations. What about if I hold it like this? Should I tense my massive no. bulging muscles, or should I let, like, not? No, I just need general measurements of your arm. Okay. I'm not- I'm trying not to make this thing too tight, anyway. Mm. Yeah, it's about the same. You're good. What the f- I feel a little violated. That project you wanted me to work on. Oh! You think you can do it? I think I can. It's mainly a figuring out of exactly what I need to make it, but effectively, the mechanism should be able to work the way that you're intending. You can't promise that it won't be cumbersome or at least kind of weird when you first get used to it, but <clears throat> after figuring it out for a day or so, I think you should be fine. Sure. Let me know if you need uh, any metalworking done. Of course. And if you want any specifications on how it looks, uh, just let me know. Can you have, like, flames on it? I don't know how big. Mm, maybe. <laughs> as long Next as it doesn't time. change the base mechanism, you're fine. Alright, I'm all yours. I wanted to have like skulls and flames on it, and then when I deploy it, I wanted to go. Banana, banana. My super quick and secret deployment of, of flash powder or smoke powder. <laughs> Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Just as everyone's like. <laughs> Here comes the sun. It's all white. plays into it. Ten silver definitely. <clears throat> yeah, well, I probably... how much that's a how okay, much you uh, normally Wayne pay Wright, for the rare Wayne Wright, those? Wayne Wright, of... Wayne Wright, I have purchased the rare viscera for two silver. Okay. So you're only really adding a silver with your viscera there. I still think that's kind of low. It feels like it's kind of low. Hmm? I mean, yeah. normally, if mm. we were, if it was, normally, if it was plentiful. <laughs> but it's not, and that's rate. why I'm, 
I'm kind of thinking yeah. is the issue. The problem is we can't get our hands on them very often. Um, Unless Nozos comes through for me. Hmm. I mean, I've only seen I'm humans th fighting in that arena recently. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Can you use human body parts as rare viscera? Oh my god. I wouldn't say it's rare. What? It's, I guess that's so true. What, so well, I mean, they've think, had other so things fighting in there, like Triton and... Uh, so what about 12 server? Yeah, I think 12 sounds so better. All right, yeah, I'm going to change I your price on your sheet to 12. Yeah, that's fine. 12,000. Yeah, that's <coughs> fine. We can do 12. And I'm going to change on mine. Yeah, because it's just so hard to come by. Yeah, I agree. And if it ends up we get more rare viscera, we can drop that price back down. But right now yeah. it's been almost impossible to find. Yeah, that's Talk to the hunters. Change it on my end too. Yeah, they um, never have it ever. <laughs> And I meant to, you know, hunt. Huh? Yeah. yeah. But, the, no, but this is, okay. This is one thing I've been telling Lorelai. She hasn't done. I'm going to try and help her get access to the Baroness to say, what does she have to do to get it rebuilt? She hasn't even did, she did, none of the hunters have been forthright in like, go ask a lord or a lady or someone in power how do we get Another funding? Moment. How do we get it rebuilt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. That's why I didn't mention your name. Okay, I'm keeping you out of it because you're busy with other things. Okay? Why are you bringing her to the I'm Baroness? Just saying, like we can, we can handle this shit. You know that, right? You can handle this shit. You can talk to the Baroness. You can get it from Lorelai. It's kind of the point. Yeah, yeah. that's one. That, that's one. I'm giving her access to the Baroness. I want to send her a missive and say, hey, I have one. The hunters are needing to get their thing rebuilt. What do you suggest they do? What th can they do for the barony to get end up getting it rebuilt? Can you better explain to her the chain of command, please? When it comes to what? Everything. Wait, you want me to go to you? Oh, so you want me to come to you with the problem then? Is that what you want me to do? <laughs> I'm just saying you don't need to go directly to the baroness. Is what I'm saying. These issues can be solved with. The builders, this can be solved with just talking to Lorelai and figuring out what you need. I mean, you're getting stone and wood. You can already yeah, get we've stone. Already, already made the agreement with your dad. Already made the agreement with your dad. It's going to the walls. We could. We got two more shipments to do. The walls are more important than the hunter's camp. Oh. Um, Kyla, we need to talk about something extremely important here. <laughs> like. That's your whole day, it seems. Like. Good luck. I can get you rare viscera. Let's go. Where are you going? What's happening? Yeah! We need to speak inside. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Who do you need me to turn into a dead body? So... Do you know a, a mercenary with a hat like this? <sighs> Not off the top of my head. I literally just watched somebody commit murder. Okay, much. well... They say it was a self-defense for Arca, but... Who committed it this? It definitely what? escalated. When? Hold on. <laughs> just a few moments ago. Apparently, they were trying to rob Akka. Apparently, Akka maimed him and said mercenary killed him. After, like, he was going to leave, the mercenary grabbed him and killed him. Where did this happen? Right in the alley, right here. Is the body still there? I, I don't know if... Akka's wanted me to keep it quiet. They wanted me... <clears throat> they wanted to pay me off. And even referred to me as a loose end. So they can try. But I'll kill them. Fuck sake, okay, um... They just went on 
I'm assuming a mission right now, heading on the north road. <clears throat> the hat is literally like this on the head. Okay. In all black. <sighs> that, that was murder. I don't care what the man did. What the situation she could or they could have been turned into the guards, not just killed right then and there. That was murder. <clears throat> I'll look into it. Fuck's sake, now that I know I have to actually do shit. Alright, Harry. <clears throat> that's... That's not type of things that I can just keep quiet on. Yeah, I know. Now we have to fucking do justice or whatever. Alright. Um, thanks for letting me know. I'll bring you need to get with Sarah. Yeah. Was, that, was she there too? Arka was there. Sarah wasn't though. No. Alright, just so I've got this right. You came across a merchant or a mercenary, someone else, and Akka. The person tried to steal from Akka, apparently. What they claimed, yes. Okay, and then Akka afflicted this person and scared them off as they were leaving the merc fucking murked him. Yes. Lead me to the body. Dragging it behind her? That's why I asked if something was stolen. I figured maybe she stole the chest. Is this individual Aka known to steal? And wait a minute, they said they were taking it to the forge. Lord Erdhart, right. my mate, has Aka come by to deliver something to you? Not today. I've been inside. I could check, though, if you'd like. No, no, no. Are you expecting a, are you expecting a chest? Go, go look into that. Are you expecting a chest today from one Aka? No. Not that I'm aware of. Although... Interesting. Yeah. They I'm said they were headed dragging. right to you, Ca dragging a chest. It looked pretty heavy, uh, heavier than they had to drag it. Okay, why is this? Why is this of note? Well, we're investigating. There was a fresh pool of blood that they were dragging said chest through. So I'm uh, trying to figure this all out. Right. So. Take me to it. Oh, this way. <clears throat> it's what the citizens uh, lovingly call this place Stabber's Alley. <clears throat> There's a body in Stabber's Alley, is what you're telling me. No, and that's the weird part. It's There's no gone. body. You see a trail of blood all along here, and the pool is right. right in the middle. To clarify the nature of the trail, the pool of blood looks very fresh to you, Kyler. It is, the ground is still wet. This happened within the last hour at most. There is no body, but there's a little flex of it around. Signs too that the body was definitely moved after whatever happened here happened. The trail that was mentioned to you was two very thin lines, as though something was dragged through the pool of blood. Which direction? Not that the body was dragged away. It leads to in the rough direction of your forge, although the trail doesn't last very long. Right. She can kind of see my uh, sure. <clears throat> confusion here. Run me through the events. You came across Aka dragging something through a pile I of... Came... By, yeah, there were some bystanders. There's a Aka dragging a chest through it, and um, I questioned her. They said they were headed to your forge to deliver something heavy, which is why they couldn't really pick it up themselves. Something heavy, possibly metals or whatever you need. 
Well, there isn't scheduled for any delivery today, but I mean, we can check if she dropped anything them go. else. I took their word for it as a slave. I figured, what the hell? And then they did not go to your forge, and they continued on to the dock. That is where we are at. I have no eyewitnesses of anything going on. I don't have anything concrete. Uh, but there's that one little misstep. I I know there were several bystanders. Um, Mr. Uh, Morgul, he may have seen something. I don't know. Uh, a cloaked woman. Uh, didn't get a name. Didn't get to see. Uh, yeah. Okay. I heard my name. Oh, right. Uh, did you see anything that transpired here? Oh, uh, I just saw Akka dragging the guy, and that was it. Uh, oh, okay. Well, clarification. You saw Akka uh, dragging a chest. <clears throat> right. Oh. Yeah. Now, dragging something. could you tell why they were dragging it through a fresh blood so pile? I, just, I don't know. I just helped her get it. But she, she had the chest. It was in the water. You you just was, helped her right now. Like she had, it was an empty chest. She opened the chest. It had seawater in it. So she was filling the chest with seawater. I don't know, really. It must be some Triton thing. I don't understand. Something's not adding up. Well, she definitely didn't take it to my forge. Unless she do dropped okay, something so it off. Empty. Kyla knows <laughs> that someone was fucking murdered, and he knows who did it. Well, he knows what they look like, at least. He's trying to get to Akka and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's probably been told enough. Yeah. <laughs> he knows that uh, this... Merc with a pointy hat killed a fucking guy with Akka there. They left. Then when they came back to the, where the body was, it's gone. And Akka was supposed to deliver something to the forge, but nothing was there. He's going to talk to Akka about this. Or at least oh, Sarah. Lord, uh, Lord yes. Got, a, got an update from what's her name? Uh, Mr. Morgan. I don't know if you heard the tail end of it. Uh... Apparently, when they helped him, the chest was empty and filling it with seawater. So, did you get any clarification? Uh, I didn't see anything. Walking over there. Dropped off at my forge. Well, I think there they are now. So, if you want to go clear that up, much yeah. appreciated. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put down uh, that they were that they're insane. That's so, uh, probably night. the best thing for it. Yeah, let's talk. There's a leak. Is a leak? Yo. Yeah. 
My lord. My lord. It, yep. How can I help? Be careful walking around alone today. I heard there's been a murder. Yes, I heard. It's Stabber's Alley. Thank you for your warning, yeah, that though. That does make sense. <laughs> it's a horrible thing, but it does make sense. Of course, my lord. Thank you. Stay safe. You're one of the nice ones. Oh, thank you. You said there's a leak? Like a slip. Uh, water, just water, no, leak. Get out, wake up, water, floor. Hmm. I think I remember Sarah talking about it. It might be more of a woodworker's thing, but I'll have a look. How can I help, sir? Uh, sharpening. I can do that. It'll be 15 copper. Come back in about five minutes or so. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Welcome. So, wake up. Swish. Splish. Splash. Watch your floor. Excuse me. Come here. You see anything suspicious in the past, I don't know, half hour? I don't want this to land on you, and I don't want this to land on uh, Sarah by extension. But I would like to know what happened over there, truthfully. I know it wasn't you. Oh, is that your wife? No. Soon to be. Okay. Help. Um. Man, come up. Ask. Help. Anyway. Went. Help. Attack. Okay. Okay. Defend. Self. Scared. Sure. You know things that would be and then? out of the ordinary and worth mentioning to the guard. You know. Um. Uh. No. The man tried to leave, and the other person who was there skewered them, right? You as well. Yeah. Okay. Don't, okay. Don't want guard out, okay, or Sarah. Um. Drag away. Where? Mark, Marco. Uh. Orson. Actually, yeah, okay. Don't tell me anymore. This other person who you're with. What? The other person who fucking murked this guy. <clears throat> Try to keep Arca safe. Don't want so. Okay, that's fair. The issue that I have with it, though, is that apparently the man was leaving when they attacked him and killed him. That moves it from self-defense to murder, you understand, right? No. No? Okay. I need to know if... If shark attack, defend against shark, shark run, but keep attack, still defense, shark might come back. Uh, I see what you mean. Unfortunately, in the eyes of the law, it's a little different here. Why? It's about... Mm, Matching equal force, it's a whole thing. Look, I... I don't want this to fall back on you, I don't want to fall back on Sarah. Have you told Sarah, and then are you going to tell Sarah? Okay, 
going to Sarah left. Okay. This person that you're with, you have to rein them in. They can't do this again. Do you understand? I don't want this to fall on you. Because next time it comes to me, I might not be able to run don't interference. Don't think. Okay. Don't think unwanted how and. Okay. <clears throat> Just be careful, alright? I could try. No help, under the one. <laughs> I wouldn't trust the general population. You know. So, is there actually a hole in this, or are you using this as a cover? <clears throat> um. Both. The second one. Uh huh. Well. Also, needed no water. Good <laughs> okay. excuse. Um, let me. Yeah. There you go. The board was a little loose. That should be fine. Thank you. Of course. Don't worry about payment, it was only a little hammering. <clears throat> she get it all sorted? Yeah, the, she sleeps in it. She fills it with water, and she sleeps in it, but there was a hole in it. So she was bringing it here for me to fix it. You see Private Grimhart blink one eye, then the other, slowly. She sleeps in water, right? So it's like a bed for her. But if the water drains out, then she wakes up. You know when you wake up at like 3 a.m. and you need like a drink like really fucking badly? No, I don't really drink. I mean like water. You don't drink water? I, I yeah, like sparkling. Yeah. <laughs> you drink sparkling water? Wow. <laughs> you are a bougie dwarf. <laughs> It's got a bit of glitter to it. It's got 24 karat gold flakes in it. My anyway, god, how much are they paying uh, you? I see what you mean. I'm a diversity hire from Vern Falder. Anyway, <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Thank you. I get paid, uh, hazard pay. Seems to be handled. I feel bad because this is falling on Arca again, and this time it isn't her fault. <clears throat> Did you see the body? No, it's been moved. Chest been rubbed by blood. Mercenary left. I have to go take care of business with Venora. Help her with the delivery. Good luck. Sorry for. Oh, that's okay. I just, for once it's actually not your fault, isn't it? Happens a lot, no one believe. I'm sorry it's been like that, truly. Sarah and this other person have gone off to do something then? Don't know. Mm. Uh, work. Mm, okay. I'll talk to Sarah later. 
She probably already knows, but I'll square it away at least. You're doing a lot better, Aka. I can see it. Trousers. I know, buddy. So, bad, um, blood, Aka. No, um, no. No, really? No. Oh, Sarah explained this, yes. When you see blood, you kind of go a little weird, right? <clears throat> yeah. Remember, like a little, um, on outside. Mm -hmm. Like a remember, ah. Uh, Fight food. All of these students are out. How can I help? Are you open for business? I am. What do you need? My lord, I um I was hoping I could get a simple sharpening. My sword has been in use as of late, and unfortunately my own upkeep seems to be subpar. <laughs> I'll get it back up to par then. It'd be 15 copper, and it should be done in about five minutes. But maybe a little longer for this. <clears throat> Swing on back in about five minutes. Holds, Tyler. Looks, uh, looks old. Doesn't look like a keepsake to you. More something that got scavenged, but this shit's been through the ringer. You could sharpen it, and it would be functional, but... This sword likely doesn't have much life left in it. Hmm. You know, I'm not just saying this to try and upsell you, but... <clears throat> I hope you're not planning on using this for much longer. There's only so much sharpening can do. Ah, uh, entirely depends on how long I live. <sighs> Alright. I'll get it back up to scratch. Should be able to cut things, but... I would recommend... <laughs> Maybe getting another one or reforging eventually, should you be able to afford it, of course. I'd have to talk to the brewmaster. I work for him. Oh, uh, Clifford? Yes. Hmm. Uh, I'm sure he'll understand. He's a reasonable fellow. Yeah, it's a bucket, Arco. Curiosity. Uh, how much would you charge for a new blade? Brand new? Yes. Oh, one moment. I understand resources are... I haven't been difficult to obtain. It would be uh, seven silver for a one-handed iron sword. So if you want something like this, more two-handed, it would be so also oh no, uh, nine silver. Nine silver then. Nine silver. And you said for a one-handed blade, seven. Yes. I can keep resharpening this one, but eventually it's just going to be a dagger. How's that? I'll do for now. This it's much cuts, right? smoother than I usually do. That's the perks of having a grindstone and mm. a wheel. Uh, I've used a grindstone before. Hmm. There's definitely a level of technique required. 
That's my bent trade. more than my fair share of blades. <laughs> I've been there. Just takes practice. This is not something an old soul like me can handle. Fifteen, you said? Fifteen, yes. There you are. Thank you. Of course. I have a question, if you'd indulge me. Absolutely. My employer has told me that you and he go way back, but he's never quite elaborated. So my question is, how much has he changed in the time you've known him? A lot. I trust the man with my life, but I worry that there are things he does not tell me. Things that would make my job easier. <laughs> it's a conversation with him, I think. I've tried. He's been... slowly opening up again after his wife vanished. But he keeps far too much too close to his chest, I think. Safer that way, I suppose. Oh, geez. It's okay. This is probably... Probably uncouth of me to ask this to you. At least of all that in the open. Yeah, don't worry about it. I just worry about him. He's... He's pushing himself too hard. He doesn't see it. to be a common trend amongst the people here. I suppose war will do that, but... What do I know? I'm just a cell sword. The name's Isaac, by the way. Isaac. Pleasure. Well, if you decide you have the cash for it, swing on by, I'll make you a sword as close to that as I can. Or something different. I think something different will probably suit me a little bit better, but... That's a discussion for another time. Absolutely. Thank you again, my lord. You know, it's strange to me. That nobility is still designed to make time for things like this. For peasant work. A <laughs> lord's duty is to his people, through and through. Father really has rubbed off on you, hasn't he? <laughs> yes. Good day to you. And you, Isaac. <laughs> See something you like? No. Mm -hmm. No. I can't look at home. <clears throat> you want a hat? Yeah, I'm not for Kyler rolling. Kyler, you have an eye for people, an ear for little details, subtleties in <clears throat> spoken word. It's a skill you had to learn to be good at Thieves Can't. As the despite that it, the fact that it is a mostly visual language, has verbal elements to it. Two things struck you as peculiar about that man. One, his name is not Gradian. Two, his accent is not Gradian and not Arlandi. But you do not know from where. He is not a local. You want a hat?
You got a helmet. Huh. More of an armor smith's job. But if you talk to Wainwright, he might have something. <clears throat> no money. That is a hurdle, yes. Let me get you a job doing something. <clears throat> hmm? Nothing. Don't know, slave, Aka money, go, Sarah. Right. <clears throat> if you asked her nicely, she might be able to buy you a helmet or something, if you were that way inclined. We can knock little holes for your ears. We don't get squished. Want get it self. Aka no like given. Right. I can see the impasse, though. If you don't... If you're not allowed to own money, you can't buy things. <clears throat> you could ask Sarah for money. You could ask Sarah to give you an allowance. If you do a good job, she gives you money. Kill Orc, kill Talbot. That's your problem-solving skills right there. Sure. Well, if I see a helmet that I kill an orc from, and you haven't already got one, I'll snatch it up for you. I can go find. Uh, uh, maybe you're not. Don't. You're not going to kill an orc, are you? Kill the crags. No. <laughs> 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 You go in there, you're not coming back. And I'd have to explain to Sarah why Uka went into the crags to fight some orcs. I think I need to have a conversation with Michael. Have you seen him around? Time <clears throat> go. Okay. Where's that Torty? I haven't seen Torty today. Don't know. You want to go to the crags? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Tyler. Mm hmm. What to do when need um um feeling help? <laughs> Asking the wrong person there, buddy. The traditional wow. thing is to uh, talk to your friends about it, or your family, or people close to you. Talk it out with them. It's cathartic. Supposedly. What? Um, it f can be hard in, in the moment, talking about it, getting your feelings out there, but... Once they're out, you feel better. That's catharsism. It is cathartic. Cathartic. Cathartic, yes. Like, you ever just want to, like... You know when you're, like, really angry? And you just want to, like, kick shit and throw shit and just 
grab something and just, you know, at the moment you feel really annoyed or really angry and just, grrr, but afterwards you're like, <sighs> that's cathartic. What if don't know how so? That's a hard thing, isn't it? That's one of the pitfalls, I suppose. Uh, you mean... You don't know how you would say it, as in you don't know the words, or you don't know how to uh, express it in a way that people would understand? Both. Hmm. I suppose... <sighs> The idea would be that, theoretically, you're around people that understand you and understand your inability to properly express. Uh, hopefully they can help read between the lines a little bit. As for being able to properly explain your feelings and what it is you're feeling, you need to understand them yourself first. Makes sense. Aka, no, alone, mad. Um. Yeah. Aka, not alone, mad. Uh, no, Aka, no, alone, mad. Um, think, uh, think, no, uh, not, no, no. You don't like being alone? Um, I can used to... Uh, 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 you're used to I being can't. alone, so you're unfamiliar of how to work with people. Yeah. Got it. <clears throat> I know that feeling. It's, uh... I've been told it comes with this, time. This no talk back. I see. It's got to be pretty heavy going from that to uh, something like Nautis, right? Alone is easy. Alone, better. Uh, no rule. Survive. It's simpler. Is what you're getting at. Yeah. I get that. You've been there. One might argue that's not a way to live, though. Surviving and living can be considered two different things. Say, survive, not live, but have not lived unwell. I see. You're talking about because they haven't experienced it, they don't know what life and living is. Interesting. Pe people so um, crazy, caught up in their own heads. Yeah. So crazy for coin uh, become slave. Hmm. Different people have different uh, values on things, right? Some people consider money the be-all, end-all. Uh, and they will do terrible, terrible things to ensure that they have it. This is a 
pretty common trend amongst people in Gradia because money allows you to do a lot of the things that you want. It's a stepping stone. Once you have money, you can live in a house that you want to live in. You can buy fancy things. This is, uh... The word for it is materialistic. These are people that care more about objects, uh, things they can hold and touch, rather than the people around them and the connections they can make. If take away things, the doll not living. The, the term living is used uh, loosely here. <clears throat> they're still alive. They're still... They're not dead. They are... Well, they would be distraught. But to them, it is... It is important. Whereas you may value something else more than, than money or material goods. Something like friends or family or freedom values freedom so you would value freedom over money or you would value your freedom over sometimes other people perhaps whereas a lot of other people would rather value their money if that makes sense <clears throat> it doesn't necessarily mean that they're wrong to value other things other than, say, freedom. It just means that what they put their care and their stock in is different to yours. Having said that, though, personally, I think there are values and things that we could care about that mean more, if that makes sense. Don't understand. <clears throat> the idea of caring more about a pile of coins than a good friend who is always there for you and respects you and cares about you and has your back no matter what. Exactly. To me, much more valuable than a pile of coins. And I think the people that would choose this one are a lot more shallow so to speak. This, they don't look under the surface of things, if that makes sense. Under surface where danger. I meant it as a more, uh, Okay, you, you look out here, and this is the same thing I see, right? It's all above the ocean, all above the water and such. I only see what's there. Whereas you look under more. You see everything there as well. I cannot. That's kind of similar to this. They see the gold on the top of it, and they see these are all the things I can buy. These are all the things I can have. Whereas we with our friends and the people that we value down here, we see further, we see the deeper, the connections between people, right? It's a philosophy class with someone who doesn't even fully speak common. <clears throat> But, uh, as your original question, understanding 
your own feelings and having the courage to rely and talk to other people about them is no small task. It takes time and it takes a lot of trust. But ultimately, that's up to you. I still haven't figured it out myself. Miss Helm. I suppose you'd go back there if you could. Don't know where it is. Hmm. <clears throat> but you remember it. Then how do you miss it? What other have? Ah, <clears throat> so it's less about the place, it's more about the feeling. I see. Marin talk lots about love. I don't know what it is. Want feel. That's a pretty deep topic. <clears throat> Love... It's scary. It's... raw. You know? It's... Like this? Like, uh... Your defenses go down. You're not wearing uh, <clears throat> armor or you're not trying to uh, protect yourself, I suppose. It's a deep, deep feeling. It's... It's warm, it's good, it's also... With it comes a lot of vulnerabilities. What would want? Well, theoretically, when you love someone, or, well, okay, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. There's different types of love, I suppose. There's no one thing. For instance, um, I, I love my dad. I love Arn. Lord of Hutt. But I wouldn't love him the same way I loved someone else. It's a different kind of love. Traditionally, when people talk about it, they mean a more intimate level. They mean someone you spend time with, someone you trust, someone you care about really, really, really deeply. Not like... Not like you want to know what happens to them, but you want to be there, you want to be a part of them, you want to protect them, you want to talk to them, you want to be around them, you don't want to be away from them, and it hurts when you're around, when you're not around them. But it's safe, it feels like home. 
it's a way of feeling at home, even if you're not... If you're a thousand miles away from where you grew up, or where your family is, you get that feeling with a person. That's kind of what love is. At least, in my experience. People always out. I don't know. <clears throat> don't know what. But, like... You don't know what you like, or you don't know what that feeling is like? <clears throat> you'll probably hate this answer, but you'll know it when you feel it. For some people it comes... I know what feel like if, if never feel? Yeah, you just know. How? You just, <laughs> you just do. Maybe it doesn't happen Why? immediately. <sighs> That's a question I can't answer. But, you know, if you're with someone and if we're talking about the traditional sense, if you're with someone and suddenly you're like, huh, it'll just hit you, you know, out of the blue and you'll feel it and you'll know. I got no like hit. It's not like that. <laughs> no, it's not a... Not an actual hit, a different, it's a, it'll, I mean that as in it'll, just suddenly, you're feeling it. Some people will go, oh, like, ship, there are arguments to be made that that's what it feels like, but, you know, it's hard to describe a feeling. It is. Some people go their whole lives never feeling it. For one reason or another. Maybe they just can't connect to people. Or maybe they are scared. Because like I said, it is a... It is intense, it is powerful. In terms of emotions. And with that comes vulnerability. And some people don't want to open up like that. Or... They don't want to open up like that again. If it's happened poorly in the past, or they're just scared of what might come. have before hmm couple of times sometimes you just don't get it right or sometimes it gets taken from you
Okay, don't know. Go up back bath house. <clears throat> Ship sink. Uh, I can fall off. Ah, oh, that's right. <clears throat> From then, every time, so. People been out. People will fight and hurt things they don't understand that they're scared of. Scared Akka? Maybe some people. Maybe they just don't understand. I think that's a big part of it. While Tazler sat with Akka, if Akka monster. I don't think you're a monster. Akka think so. Why do you think that, Akka? What defines a monster for you? Scary, bad, um, dangerous. I can be scary and bad, and I'm pretty dangerous. Am I a monster? Haven't seen. Hmm. Well, if being scary or bad defines someone as a monster, most of the people in this city would be considered that. <clears throat> it's not your fault, though, is it? Scare self. Yeah, I mean, I'd be scared too. Monster. 
because you can't control yourself all the time? Or because of what you do when you control you can't control yourself? Well, to bring a counterpoint that you yourself said earlier, you said, sometimes you're not Akka. So by following your own logic there, Akka isn't the monster. This affliction that you have is. Touch Akka What more Um What good what bad Morals Hmm Well <clears throat> what are Think good, others think bad. I see. You. But. You can't say. Okay. <clears throat> this is getting. Slave bad. Okay, yeah. Others say good. Yes. If Akka... Like, not slave. People think bad. But is bad? Akka confuse. Hmm. The thing with morals, though, is that it's... different per person. Everyone has different morals. And there are probably things you and I don't agree on, morally. That doesn't mean anything is right or wrong, necessarily. But when it becomes part of uh, when the people in charge that make the laws, the rules for everyone, feel morally that something is okay, like slavery, they can make it okay, legally speaking. Which means the people that were on the fence about it, or the people that are okay with it, can do so. That doesn't mean Morally, it's correct or right, but legally, it is. Another example? If someone from your past shows up again, and in the past, they... Oh, actually, no. That's not a good example. Forget that. Never mind. Morals and legality... It's a, <laughs> it's a very deep and intense topic I can't really summarize easily. Just because good... Doesn't mean law. Yes. Law and morals are two different things. 
then break law bad, but good reason. Still bad, but good. Yeah. That is the one of the pitfalls about the laws sometimes. Sometimes it's not as black or white, it's not cut and dry. There's some grey areas sometimes. And you have to hope that the people in charge can see the nuances of it, but sometimes it isn't the case. And a lot of the time, it if we don't follow these laws, even if you don't agree with them, then we devolve to anarchy like the orcs. This is what separates our civilization from something like theirs. <clears throat> Is bad to try change? Change what? Um, change bad to good. Morals or laws? Blah. Well, a lot of the times you've seen um, wars, disagreements over what laws are in effect, what they they don't agree. And theoretically, there, sh there should be a system and people you can talk to, and if you can convince enough people, you can hope that they would change the law. If you can convince the people in charge, no. then you're stuck. Less fault. Which you might not win, and even if you do win, the people around you and the people left over might not agree with the laws either. As long as people left going front. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Hmm. <laughs> then what's the point? If you're going to kill everyone, then what's the point of having laws? You're starting to realize a lot of dilemmas that people smarter than me have spent years of their lives trying to fix, Saka. These are uh, deep, deep topics we're only scratching the surface off, but are stretching my understanding of it. <laughs> but your understanding and your asking good questions. Okay, see how bad everything can be. <clears throat> I was born in the back room of a inn or a tavern to a mother who never loved him. I was thrown to the street at a very young age. I was left alone. I had to do things, terrible things, just to survive. I've seen the absolute dregs of society. I have seen terrible people do terrible things. But, despite it, I've managed to find my way into a position where 
I can try and fix that. I can do use what little power I have to try and make sure people don't have to do that again, to do what I had to do again. And if I get more power, or if I get more ability, or more people supporting me, or whatnot, I can do it easier or quicker, and I can change more and try and help more people. This is, in my opinion, and many other people's opinions, the moral reason for wanting to rule, for being able to rule, to be in charge, is to help people, to look after people, to serve people. The less moral reason would to be to do it for power, to do it for glory, for money, to put your boot on other people's heads. And between you and me, that is, unfortunately, quite common in places like this. People like myself and my father truly want to leave places better than we found them. But other people don't like that. The other people in charge don't like that. <clears throat> they see us as a threat. But I digress. My point being you're not the only person that wants to change things for the better, and I hope I can help that for you by being where I am. I can hope that I can help it for people like you. But it's hard, and you have to play a lot of games. You have to do a lot of things you don't like. of obstacles to overcome. It's hard, I know. Like Kyler said, there is fast will and right will. <clears throat> Where do you want to be? What do you want to do? Change what? No more slaves. Hmm. What did you find? I'll tell you what. Who says dead? I heard he was executed. Don't want to believe. Hmm. Part of healing is realizing that what happened it did happen. Acceptance is what they call it. And from there you can grieve however you need to.
but all this philo philosophy talk is <clears throat> doing my head in. Forgive me if I don't continue to talk morals, but if you want to talk more about this sort of stuff, I'd be happy to. I don't know much, but give you a wider view of the world if you are that way inclined. <sighs> <clears throat> How you doing, Tang? I'm doing. We were discussing morality. How long? I figured. Among other things. I didn't want to bother you. No, it's okay. But there is an armored individual outside of the forge trying to inform you of a situation. Okay. Uh, yeah, interrupt next time. <laughs> would you like... Would, would you like to know who this in... Who this individual is and what he wants you to do? Sure. Is he not still there? No, he's still there. He hasn't budged. But, uh, he was... He witnessed a murder and is being called a loose end. Right. <laughs> I see. I'll handle this. So, just so you know what you're getting into. Yeah. Come on, Arco. Let's all go and point and laugh at the man. <laughs> ha ha! Ugh. God, my jokes are falling flat today. But you're not the only one waxing philosophical. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have to have this conversation with uh, Lisa eventually, too. That I can practice. Yeah, you and I both know that's going to go well. Uh. Maybe Arka can talk to her. <laughs> oh. no. oh, come on. You alright? Not, not even going to humor it? No. Okay, fair uh, I assume you'll have guards posted for them. For... Yeah. Hey, how's it going? The sailor hat. Mercenary. I'm gonna talk to them first. You don't want to be an actual loose end, do you? Glad to see you still around. No. But I'm not gonna defend the fact that they murdered somebody. Let me at least talk to them first. I don't care about them, but they're involved with <laughs> Sarah, obviously, and by extension, Arco. I want to make sure they don't get caught in any crossfire. If Arco would have left a body, they would have been in the clear. Well, so far, no one's still investigating. But deciding to take it. I don't think you understand. Blatantly in the open, murdering somebody in the streets. If something isn't done now, they'll think they can do it again. I know you're trying to protect Sarah. Remember I told you when Arka was sneaking behind my house and I could have reported that mm -hmm. and she would have gotten in trouble. I don't want her getting in, in trouble. The mercenary is the problem. 
Correct. And Akka doomed themselves. I know it's hard. But there was a less messy way. And they decided to take it into their own hands. Right, but to them, and I'm doing this for you as well, to them, you're the only witness. You're the only person that actually saw that, so you would be the only person who would speak. You want me to I use you I as a witness? I can't just let that go. Okay. I wasn't there for the poor quarter. <sighs> Can't just let blatant murder happen here, no matter who was involved. If there was a better way. The issue is that it stopped being self-defense when they turned their back. You are definitely sure they were leaving when they attacked them. They were. Okay. Need to have Arca bring the body back. It's probably fish food by now. I'll leave Arca up to you. But that mercenary is a different story. <clears throat> Alright, I'll... I'll handle it. I need to get a word in with them first, though. I don't want to jump the gun on anything. All right. Are they back in town yet? No. But I do hope you realize that a murderer that can't bribe somebody will eventually tie loose ends. Well, the idea would be that you wouldn't be a fucking loose end. <laughs> Do you really believe that they're not going to try to do something to cover their tracks? Yep. I'll handle it. Pointed hat, right? Pointed hat, Venora referred to it as a sailor's hat. Alright. Full black. If I need to be there, I will. We might need a witness. And Kyla, one more thing. There you are. Just, yep. <laughs> Arca cannot be around for it. If they're what? really, if they're willing to get rid of a body for them, they'll be willing to warn them. Yeah, I won't tell them.
Did you fall on the beach? Don't worry, Rock man. cat! It is a cat. Alright. It's soft fun. Right. But in full seriousness, how have you been holding up? Oh, have you seen... Yep. Really have have either of you seen uh, Nate or Sarah coming into town? With a cart, maybe? Nope. What the fuck? Yeah. Great. Not recently. So where did they go? What the fuck? Off the end of the world? Shit. I don't I think know. that's how you find I have, Oh. I have fallen asleep. I was I'm picturing bigger. Like Rack! Right. I, I need something uh, to do. Can you check the road? I'll try to check it with Darth to see if he's in. Throw! Throw rock! You want to throw a rock? Uh, he's not in. <sighs> hello, hello. Alright, if you're going back out there, I'll hold down the fort to see if anyone shows up, alright? Right. Oh, right. shit. Yeah. He does not how to know how to properly turn that horse. But he gets license. Probably from the institute. <laughs> he should be in a fucking institute. Crazy institution. Hey there, McLaughlin. Ever been shot out of a cannon? I think that's a. I think that's they like to. Hey, you want to see? A, you just want to see uh, what a cannon looks like on the inside? Come on. No, the Imperials are totally for it. No, it's a karate and pastime. Shoot chickens out of a cannon. Do the fucking law now.
fucking Harry. Why you gotta be such a goody two shoes? Fucking, fucking. <clears throat> Hey, Wilfred. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I deal with his pun and sentiment, Papa. You're plenty useful. I know, but he doesn't think I am, so I'm just going along with it. What, what, what matters is we did our job, but I know for a fact that they're going to argue to high hell just to say that they were all sitting in the job, so... Yeah. 